uh, ellipses, what you'll notice is that you're adding, okay? With hyperbolas, you'll notice that you're subtracting. Both of the equations, they equal one, and they both have these denominators of a squared and b squared. Okay, so let's look at an ellipse, okay? And we'll just kind of look at the anatomy of an ellipse, okay? These ones that I've drawn here are centered about the origin. Okay, so that means the center is right at the origin. So if I draw an ellipse like this, okay, here's the center. The distance from the center to the vertices, okay, I'll just write vertex here, that distance is called A. Now, it's possible that the ellipse could be longer in the y direction, okay, in the vertical direction. And in that case, this is going to be A, okay, and this distance to the minor vertices or the covertices, that distance is called B. So are you with me so far? I'll give you some examples of the equation. So say, for example, this one could be x squared plus y squared equals 1. And this is going to be maybe, let's say, 25 and let's just say 16. So what that means is that I'm going 5 to the right and 5 to the left. So the number underneath the x tells you you're going in the x direction. So it's easy to remember, right? Whereas the number underneath the y, that tells you you're going to be going in the y direction, plus or minus 4. This one here might look something like this. x squared plus y squared equals 1. But the y squared, must, let's say, maybe is 100, whereas the x squared maybe is only 9. So this tells you you're going up 10 and down 10 in the y direction, and you're only going 3 left or right in the x direction. So in this case, the larger number is the a squared, and the smaller number is the b squared. So this is the larger one. This is going to be the a squared. This is the smaller one. This is the b squared. Are you with me so far? So that's the idea. So the distance from the center to the vertex, center to the vertex, that distance is A. Center to the covertex or minor vertex, that distance is called B. Okay, now the other th component are the foci. And the foci, that distance is the distance from the center to the focal points. And the focal points are going to be on the major axis. That's the longer axis. That distance is C. And for ellipses, we use the formula C squared equals A squared minus B squared. Kind of like Pythagorean theorem, but you're subtracting. So for this one, it's going to be C squared equals 25 minus 16, which equals 9. And if we take the square root of both sides, we get plus or minus 3. So you want to make sure that the foci, F, okay, are on the longer axis. So we're going to be going right 3 and left 3, and that's how we find the foci. For this one, since it's orientated vertically, because the number underneath the y squared is larger than the number underneath the x squared, this is our major axis, this is our minor axis, our foci are going to long, lay, I'm sorry, lie along this axis like this. And again, what we would do is we would do c squared equals a squared minus b squared. This comes out to 91, and if we take the square root, we get plus or minus the square root of 91. So that's going to be, there actually would be a little bit higher like this, okay, and a little bit lower. So those are the foci. Okay, now we're going to switch gears to talk about hyperbolas. Now, hyperbolas, whichever one comes first, that's the positive term. That tells us which direction the hyperbola is going to open. If it's x squared that comes first, it's going to be opening in the x direction. Like the x-axis goes horizontal, it's going to open horizontally. If the y squared is first, it's going to be opening in the direction that the y-axis is. That's vertically up and down. So let's look at an example. Let's take this first one over here. Say we wanted to graph a hyperbola that looks like this and like this. So what we have is x squared minus y squared equals 1. Okay, just like ellipses, they equal 1. But this one that we're going to say maybe is 4 and 1. Okay, so what the a squared is for this problem is going to be 4. So that means that a equals plus or minus 2. So we're going to be going right 2 and left 2. That distance is our a value. That's the distance from the center to the vertices. Now, if we want to, this will be the b squared here. And if we want to find the distance to the foci, the foci are going to be along that major axis, okay, the same axis that the vertices are on. We're going to use the formula c squared equals a squared plus b squared, just like Pythagorean theorem, and that's going to be 4 plus 1, c squared equals 5, c equals plus or minus the square root of 5, which is about maybe right about over here and over here, okay, so just a little bit further out from the center. Now, some students, what they'll kind of make these little uh, notes to themselves will say, hmm, so with ellipses, the foci are closer to the center, they're on the inside. 
with hyperbolas, the foci are further out from the center, they're gonna be on the outside. Okay, and the other way that students oftentimes remember these formulas is that in hyperbolas you're subtracting, but in your focus formula you're adding, it's the, the opposite, with ellipses you're adding here, but in your focus formula you're subtracting. So I'm just trying to give you some hints or ways of remembering these different formulas. Let's look at one more example with uh, hyperbolas, and that's, uh, let's see if we can fit it in right here. If it's opening like this, up and down, that means that it's a y squared variety, so I'll write it down here, y squared minus x squared equals one, and here we, it doesn't matter which one is larger, like ellipses, the denominator, see, whichever one's larger in the ellipses determines which direction it's gonna be longer in. Here, it's the positive one, the first one that determines whether it's opening up or down, like this one, the y squared's positive, so opening up and down. Uh, so let's just say that this is maybe uh, four again, and we'll just say maybe this is, um, let's just say it's one. So we kind of reversed it. So this is gonna be two and two. So we're going the square root of four, which is two, in the vertical direction, in the y direction, to get to the vertices.